Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. They will they will text or call, all right? So you're going to be receiving some type of communication or a phone call from somebody. Mm, ex-partner affecting the connection. So somebody's ex is still like an either your ex or their ex is a is a factor of maybe why things aren't working out between you and somebody right now. Or they're, yeah, not the one. I hide secrets. Yeah, somebody's not being honest with you about something. So when this person reaches out to you guys, they're going to be coming in a lot more vulnerable. Okay, they're going to be coming in wanting to open up to you in some type of way here. All right, letting their walls down. So they're going to be coming in, expressing something to you or being more like emotional or vulnerable when they do come in. I feel like they're also going to be like, maybe if they were keeping secrets from you or hiding something from you, they're going to be revealing it to you. I have a surprise slash gift for you. Hmm. What does that do with ex connection? Don't dismiss the red flags. So it's like somebody may be trying to come in and give something for you or surprise you in some type of way. What is this surprise? Mm. Yeah, clearing work and cord cutting needed. You deserve love, okay? False mask hiding. Okay, what does that have to do with an ex-partner? Let So somebody's letting go of somebody from their past, an ex. That was affecting, ooh, it says an incubus or a succubus spirit. So, like, isn't, like, I'm not, like, a really versed when it comes to that type of, inner, those, that, you know, that topic. But, like, that's probably somebody that they've had some type of, like, sexual connection with in the past. Like, it, it could even be, like, something to do with, like, sex magic. Or, like, even if somebody wasn't, like, intentionally doing sex magic on them, you know, like, you do, like, form energetic cores with people. Ooh, you know what I'm hearing in my head? Yeah, they're still, like, it's somebody that they've had sexual relations with, with, guys, that was still, like, in their energy, or, like, it could have been, like, just say you were dealing with somebody that has, like, a past where they were a player, and they maybe slept with a lot of different people, like, you could be dealing with somebody that, um, like, has, like, a lot of demons, and they have to do a lot of clearing work because they've, like, made so many energetic cords mm, but it does say that they're letting go of the past yeah their court some yeah you deserve love don't dismiss the red flags okay so let's see what else tell me about not the one tell me about not the one leave me alone Ooh. okay what does this have to do with my collective not the one and leave me alone shadow work needed Mm, how can I mend your broken heart? You, some of you guys were trying to save this person. It's like you were almost like dealing with somebody that like was avoiding you or pushing you away or like they, like, but like, I feel like you guys need to do shadow work because you guys were thinking that maybe you could fix this person or you could change them or heal them. Some of you guys could be healers, but why is, what's not the one? I'm lost with that. Okay. So is this, some, wow, guys, you know what I'm getting? So somebody pushed you away because of their childhood trauma, PTSD, Stockholm Syndrome, um, whatever it is. They pushed you away. They wanted you to leave them alone. And it's like maybe, I feel like at maybe some point you were maybe trying to think you could help this, help this person or save them. Or like maybe this person's not realizing they really hurt you. They pushed you away and now you're really leaving them alone. You may not even feel like this is your person for you, like the person for you anymore. And this person's going to be lost without you. But there was definitely like a need for shadow work here, possibly on both ends. Tell you about I hide secrets. They don't love you like I do. What? Somebody, they maybe had somebody around them that was telling them that they loved, they loved it, like they loved your person more than you did or something like that. What is that? Ooh, this person could have some type of addiction. Tell me more, they don't love you like I do. What does that mean? I hide secrets. Okay. Mm, see, somebody wants you to unblock them. Soulmate. 
I haven't changed. I'm just lying to get what I want. So this person's like putting on. Didn't we have that false mask card that came out earlier? Yeah. It's like this person comes towards you. They maybe act like they've changed or something like that. But they're just lying to you to make it seem like they're changing and like their life is improved um, to get what they want out of you. They may even try to make it seem like they do care about you and love you. They may try to like compete over the like if they feel like you have ops. See, what does unblock me now? Somebody doesn't if you unblock, if you block them, they want you to unblock them. We have bad timing. Some of you guys could have unblocked this person, or or if you do, it won't be the still right, still won't be the right time. This person's gonna be selling you a dream that yeah, you have nothing to be worried about. What about that? Heal. And we have, I made a mistake. So if you guys are worried about whether or not this person, just, it just yeah, they're guarded, guys. Yeah, this person is, like, is traumatized and they're guarded. Yeah, demon. Didn't I say they have a lot of like demons? Yeah, demon or entity possession. Yep. Ooh. So it's like someone's realizing that they made a mistake here. It's almost like Spirit is saying that, like, it just wasn't the right timing for you and this person. You don't have anything to worry about. Just focus on your healing. This person's going to realize they made a mistake when it came to you. So give me one more card when, when it comes to I hide secrets. See, yeah, uh, friends with benefits. They were either hiding a friends with benefits connection that they had, or they were just trying to have a friends with benefits connection with you. Ooh. Yeah, I use you when it benefits me. Yep, distorted feminine or masculine. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they have somebody that they just sleep with and they try to maybe gaslight you or like, yeah, they discard and deflect. They discard you or they ghost you when they can't get what they want out of you. Yeah, they get intimidated by you. Yeah, friends with benefits here again. They're, they're only comfortable with having these friends with benefits type relationships because they're guarded. What is friends with benefits? And I what does that mean for my collective directly? What does that mean for my collective? See, yeah, I lied about the details. I smile in your face and talk shit behind your back. See, like, I don't know. Like, this person's like, they wear masks. Like, they're kind of two-faced or, yeah, health concern. What does that have to do with friends with benefits with my collective? Heartbreak. Yeah, they broke your heart. They maybe weren't like being honest with you about their intentions or what they wanted. They maybe made it made it out like they wanted something more serious with you, or that but they only really wanted friends with benefits. But I took the easy way out. Yeah, this person. Mmm. Uh oh. Yeah, be careful with this person too. You guys could have maybe caught something from this person, like sexually trained as an STD or like, because this person has like, maybe like telling you they have a lot of demons and entities. Like when you sleep with too many people, you carry that energy from all those people that you sleep with, right? So if they've been with a lot of different people, they maybe had a sex addiction or something like that. They could even be carrying like an STD or an infection because we did have health concern that came out as well. So what does that mean for my collective past life connection? And we have, I was, see, it's like this person is going to realize that they were like, yeah. First of all, this person was projecting all their insecurities onto you and being paranoid. It's like this person is going to wake up to the fact that they fumbled, that they did, they mishandled you. Yeah, like you have a, you may, you may feel like this was a strong connection or very intense because you guys probably have like a soul tie to this person or some type of like past life connection to them. But it's like, you're going to be hearing from this person. Like if you block them, I'm going to get clarity on that in a minute. If you block this person, they, um, they're going to want you to unblock them or they're going to get a hold of you in some type of way because it says they will text or call and they're going to, they know that they have to come towards you more vulnerable right? More open and honest without a mask on, without a facade. But it's, they're going to realize that they were blind. They weren't seeing the truth about you in the situation. They're going to tell you that they're sorry. Tell you about unblock me now. They're not feeling, they're going to be feeling very depressed. Yeah, guys, what did I just say? False mask hiding. There's that facade. What's happening with unblock me now? Infidelity. Ooh, what's happening with unblock me now? Marriage. Yeah, it's like they're, they're, they're like not being honest with you maybe about some type of cheating or the fact that they're, they were married, that there's some type of infidel, infidelity here. What does this have to do with my collective? 
Yeah, you guys are moving on from this because they're refusing to be honest with you about some type of infidelity or the fact that they're married. Yeah, they're trying to play the victim. They act like they're the victim. Yeah, I am not available. So you could have been dealing with somebody that was in a whole other relationship or in a whole marriage and they were not, or that they're emotionally unavailable. Yeah, I miss you. Demon or entity possession. Yes, I'm intimidated by you. Kiss me softly. Let's do a few more. I will fight for us. Okay, so what is this that they, are they going to take accountability for something here? Yeah, that work together as a team. What is it that they weren't lying about? Falling in love. Somebody's starting to fit feelings, deeper feelings, or come to terms with the feelings that they always did have for you. You deserve better, yeah. They can be trusted. So you have somebody that, or you either have somebody, you have somebody that's either coming back towards you changed, or you have somebody that's somebody new coming in that you that well yeah look at this we need to talk asap somebody is feeling this urgency urgency to speak to you mm. it's either a new person or this past person coming back but with that oh, i need to talk to you now type energy it makes me feel like it's the same person coming back so tell me more about what what's going to happen with this masculine energy Yeah, see, they're going to want to come to some type of compromise here. Somebody that really, like, missed, you feel like they led you on, or they they had, they had gave you a lot of broken promise, like, they broke all their promises. They view you as wish fulfillment, and they want to have something more stable with you. And I just saw the phone call card again. So you will be hearing from this person. So give me more clarity, so you kind of see, like, what's happening here. What's causing this person to want to reach out now? Why are they wanting to kind of, like, what's making them have this wake-up call or whatever? Oh, is it because you're looking good without them? Is it because you started focusing on yourself? So what's going to happen is that once you guys shift your energy away from this person and you start focusing on you, and some of you guys are going to start going to the gym, then this person's going to feel that. I'm telling you, it's going to be like an energetic thing. That's when they're going to feel like it's a done deal. I feel like up until this point, guys, if you just say you've left, it, left this person before, they still didn't, they didn't believe you. They didn't take you seriously, okay? I don't know, because maybe even if you did block them or you told them that you were done, there was still some time, you were still like maybe energetically holding on to this person or you were still like, they could still feel that you were like holding on to them or focusing on them or something like that. But there's something about you shifting your focus all the way onto you. They're going to feel very punished by this. And they're going to feel like you're not going to give them any more chances. You're letting them go. It's a, th This is a final done deal. Yeah, look at this. They're definitely intimidated by you. They know that you stand out and they know that you are different, okay? Um, or there's something different about you. But they're intimidated by you for sure. Yeah, look at this. Addictions, bad habits, addicted to sex, yep, drinking, etc. Destructive behavior. Anything else? memories this maybe this was the past i keep hearing that all them things like the std and the sexual addiction and all that stuff could be even past energy they may not want you to know that this was what their past was like or they're still trying to cleanse their energy of all this garbage that they were indul you know they're still trying to work on these demons but or these destructive behaviors these addictions so that's maybe why the things have been moving very slowly with this person tell me about old school boundaries i feel like that made you feel like this person was using you like yeah them taking things very slow or you want something more traditional or old school so it says no more enabling feeling used setting healthy boundaries strategy plan yeah they're planning their next move towards you because they i'm telling you regret feeling guilty or remorseful wanting to undo the damage mm-hmm yeah, wanting, now seeing a future with you. Commitment promises making an official marriage in the future. <sighs> Anything else that they need to know, Spirit? I, yeah, this already showed itself to me. My rock, love and support it, solid foundation, security and stability. But we have closed heart. Why is closed heart here? Yeah, why is unavailable energy still coming out? Avoiding intimacy, of emotional burden. So what about that? Why is closed heart here? Forbidden fruit, healing. Yeah. What is that for the closed heart? 
what, something that maybe happened in their childhood was a factor. What is closed heart? Something, somebody's about to reach their breaking point. They feel like you're, yeah, because you're single and you're available or something like that. You're moving forward. It's like something about you intimidates this person and it's like they feel very drawn to you. They desire you, but they also, it scares them, right? But I feel like you guys are starting to heal. What does closed heart mean for my collective? Closed heart, going in circles. Well, that's why things aren't progressing between you and this person. You were dealing with a person that was avoiding intimacy and they were, um... They were avoiding intimacy and they were um, emotionally unavailable. They weren't wanting to open their heart to you. Yeah, they were holding back from you on purpose. They had a fear of falling in love. Love really scares this person and they don't really know what to do. Yeah. Yeah, they're used to very surface level connections. Not real love connections. Or they were trying to tell themselves that this wasn't love. Because they were so afraid of what they felt for you that they've been trying to convince themselves that they don't love you. Yeah, they were. Th then I say that they're going to realize that they, they didn't see something clearly. They're going to realize that they really did love you, but they were just lying to themselves about it. They didn't want to come to terms with their feelings for you. But they're going to because, look, now they want to offer their heart to you. Now they want to open it up. They're coming in like with, what is that called? Uh, um, Wearing their heart on their sleeve, right? I'm letting my walls down. They will text or call. Sincere offer of love, romantic gift expressions of love but why do we see what why is third party here who's this third party why is third party here something is interfering third party so it could have something to do with a living situation it could be somebody that they live with or it could be their comfort zone what is a third party no i feel like this person's about to yeah they're about to get out of their comfort zone yeah that's what i'm getting from this it, it, but it's gonna happen in the right time um why? Why are they wanting to? What's going to force them to do this? Yeah, they were they were definitely playing games. What's going to force them to want to come in and take this leap of faith? Them feeling like they ran, they're running out of time. Rushing before it's too late. Took a long time walking on thin ice. Yeah, this could be a, a it's either a very intense soul connection or it's a twin flame connection. Yeah. New love. What's this mean for this connection? sacrifice they're gonna have to get there if they have they're still holding on to an x they have to let the let go of that x if they want to all right because yeah this person's been trying to string you along it's like they not wanted to lose you but they've also at the same time not wanted to open their heart to you which is just like yeah yeah they feel like it's very hard to stay away from you hard to resist you they don't like the way that you they don't like these things that you make them feel okay anything else i'm gonna do four more anything else that they need to know about this situation going forward trapped okay separation runner and spotlight mm, what is why is spotlight here slower you're manifesting some type of um you guys are like attracting some type of love interest here maybe they feel this coming in tell me about player it's like the player is going to want to take something more seriously with you or what is this see karmic connection Reconciliation. So somebody, if they had a karmic, they're cutting the karmic out. Yeah, they're cutting some type of karmic. Okay, so you know what's happening here, guys? Is that this person, they, okay. <laughs> There's a lot of, I'm just like all over the place because a lot of things are coming into my head. So a situation was feeling stuck. Somebody's been trying to run from this connection, but they feel like they cannot escape it, right? But you guys have definitely been going through it with this person. Like the relationship has not been working. There's definitely been a withdrawal or a disconnect. I feel like you guys are attracting some type of love interest that could lead to some type of power couple dynamic, right? People will envy this connection. And it, I feel like, and what does that mean for this? Before I say it, what does that mean for this person? Yeah, this it's like almost like you guys are making the decision to disconnect from this person and withdraw and move on. 
from this runner, this person that was avoiding, like you, they could have had this with you. They could have been this power couple with you, but they avoided it, right? They could have even chosen a karmic over you. They were refusing to cut off some type of karmic separation or it says full of turbulence, past life, or they just hadn't resolved. Oh, past life unresolved issues. Didn't we have that card come out too? Past life connection. Clarify karmic connection. Yeah, there's some type of karmic connection or some, or they, they're going to have to give up their old life to be in this new life with you. They can't hold on to their toxic ways and destructive habits and ways of thinking and the people that they, that they, that were from their past, if they want to have step into this new beginning with you. Okay. Um, what, and if they do have a karmic, like a person that they're dealing with, like in a romantic sense, like that connection is full of turbulence and it's unsustainable. And for some reason, this is a very difficult decision for this person to do. Like for a lot of you, it's their comfort zone because this person is very used to, um, yeah, look at this cursed could be one of their exes. It's a string of bad relationships, karmic cycle, the evil eye. So either this person's been going through some karma, they're in a relationship or a situation, like a cycle with a karmic, or they just, like I said, they've like been in a lot of turbulent and toxic relationships and they're carrying that energy, trying to carry, they were trying to carry it into the connection with you. And they're going to have to, why is this a sacrifice? Yeah, they're going to have to make some sacrifices if they want to have this love and this stability and this solid foundation with you. Why is this hard for this person to do though? Why is this hard for this person to make this decision? I don't get it. Why would not? Why, why is this a difficult decision? They just need to heal. They need to heal from the past. They need to let go of these past experiences. Um, but it's like almost like you're going to start moving on from this person. And they're getting left behind almost is what it feels like here. Like you're trying to manifest like your, your person, right? And this player, this person that was refusing to settle down with you or whatever they're going to want to come in and try to take things more seriously because they feel you getting away from them at some point yeah it's like they're going to start chasing you the runner is going to turn into the chaser because yeah i wanted to start dating and they're finally maybe getting over something or someone and tell me what this means for this connection yeah abundance like you're, you're going to be coming into a lot of financial blessings and financial independence happiness yeah, they're going to feel like no one compares to you. First true love, new love experiences. Yeah, did the twin flame card come out again? This could be for some of you, your twin. Yeah, it's like, just give it some time, guys. This person's going to realize that nobody is you and they're never going to find another you. All right? That you were their first true love. It's just not the right timing. They're maybe listening to people. What does this mean for, what does this mean for their connection with my collective? Yeah. It's like something about in the right timing, there will be a, a, an opportunity for like building a family or some type of uh, commitment. But it says divine intervention. Angels are helping trust the divine plan and believe in miracles. But they're going to want to, they're going to have to cut something out of their life. Cut their losses, give up on something for some of you to walk, if they want to come in and work things out with you. But they will return. You're going to hear from this person. They're, this is not a closed cycle between you and them. Yeah, why do you have bad intentions, though? Money is tight. Somebody maybe tried to use you for money, or they didn't come towards you. Ooh, now the clock's thickening. Ghosting. Somebody, if you if you do, like, just completely ghost somebody, they're going to think it's because you found somebody else. Yeah, it's like they're going to think that you found, like, somebody else to be in a relationship with. Why is divorce here? Addiction. I don't know, guys. Jealousy. Yeah, they're going to think that you, they're going to be very regretful. And there's going to be this shocking turn of events that happens here. Now they're going to want to compromise. It's like, that's what it is. The fear of this person, they're afraid of losing you to somebody else. And like, they're going to think when you really do pull back your energy and you start focusing on you, they're going to think that you're doing that because you found somebody new. That's pretty much what I'm getting from this. But they were not willing To give up something that they would need to give up to make this relationship work at some point whatever that is is going to be different for all of you i'm seeing a lot of different things that it could possibly have been they pushed you away that's what i'm, I'm getting that they really did push you away they put blockages and obstacles between the two of you they were trying to have like the surface level friends with benefits type relationship with you they weren't being upfront honest with you they were wearing these masks No, what I want to know though before I move on to that what is this surprise or gift that this person's talking about they have 
What does that have to do with you? Oh, I just saw love. You're going to be surprised. So this ex-partner, they, they, I could just be saying that this is an ex coming back towards you. It doesn't have to mean your ex-partner or their ex-partner. This could literally be like your ex coming back. With, and this is going to take you by surprise. Like that's what that, I'm getting that as more of a, what this that's saying. Yeah. And I feel like that card is also saying that your ex was more of the problem than you were in the situation. What is, tell me about ex-partner affecting the connection. Yeah. Somebody was still married or something, guys. I still get that too. The fact that somebody was still married or in some type of long-term relationship. So if, if their person well, has not been married before or they have they were in some type of really long-term connection, this may not be your reading. So this person needed to heal from like a marriage or a divorce or like a failed family situation or something like that. Yeah. You could have been dealing with somebody that was going through a divorce. What is the, I have a surprise or a gift for you. Something that, you, guys, I can't make it up. I can't make it up. You start... You, it says high influence in business, stepping into a leadership role. You know your value and your self-worth. Use logic over emotions. And when you step into that energy, you guys already have a knowing about what's going to happen. You already know what you needed to do. But that's what the surprise is. This person coming in out of nowhere, wanting to take things to the next level with you. It says positive new love coming in, a job offer that you love. So for some of you, it could be career. Because we did have that abundance card that came out. But I'm telling you, some of you guys are literally blo unblocking this. I mean, you guys are blocking this person. like, And they're going to be like, that's sending them for a loop too. Because they're like, they're like, unblock me now. Please unblock me. Some of you guys, did you ghost this person? Fell off the face of the earth, right? So anyways, <laughs> that's what the surprise is. But I feel like the fact that somebody was not getting a divorce or that a divorce was not finalized, like this person had loose ends or somebody was still dealing with somebody that they used to be married to or in some type of long-term commitment with, okay? We have the chariot, cancer energy. Something is, okay, yeah, something's moving towards a commitment or like something's moving forward or somebody's very determined to come in and offer you something stable here. Like you have like money coming in and stability coming in, a stable offer of love coming in. Or you guys, they're telling you to just keep moving forward. Yeah. Page of Pentacles. You have a manifestation coming in. Yeah. Why is the Knight of Swords reversed? We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're telling you not to try to, um, what was the, before I say anything, what's the Knight of Swords reverse? The Hermit? It's almost like they're telling you not to rush into anything or don't, they're telling you to take time to think things through. I don't, what does that mean for my collective? Yeah, because there's something here that you weren't seeing. You weren't listening to your intuition or you were doubting. Like, I feel like you guys knew something. Your intuition has been telling you all along what was going to play out or what you needed to do when it came to this person. But you were doubting yourself. So there was really def there was definitely a need for you to, like, introspect and maybe go into hermit mode and spend more time alone so that you can really hear. Like, maybe you guys felt like you were being a little bit confused. You were... You were, you were hearing what this person was telling you and you were hearing what your friends were telling you and you were hearing what your family was telling you. There was a need for you to just listen to your inner voice because you had the answers within you. And what is the answers? Or maybe it took for you to disconnect from this person for you to really get the clarity or for them to get the clarity. What, what, what was it that they weren't seeing, Spirit? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune on the back of the deck. Something is about to turn, like the wheel is about to turn in your favor or this person is about to spin the block or the tables are turning here. The runner is about to become the chaser, guys. I can't make it up, but it just says destiny, a turning point. The universe is in control. So maybe there's even divine intervention. Like you did what you were supposed to do. Now the divine is saying, let us take care of the rest. You just sit back, focus on your, your business, your money, your own happiness um your abundance whatever because we did all the see all those things coming in for you and we're taking care of the rest there's nothing else you need to do right but there's big changes coming here unexpected events heavy on the surprises and unexpected events what was what was their intuition telling them and that they knew but they were not doubting themselves what were they doubting themselves about spirit that maybe this person either it was about a decision or about the fact that um this person had options what was it tell me something about the two of cups what about the two of cups 
Yeah, stuck in the past. Like somebody was still stuck on somebody from their past or they just weren't ready. They were naive. Or maybe it was unrealistic to think that things could come together in the way that you wanted it to at the time. Or somebody was still clinging to something from their past, right? Well, tell me more about what they weren't seeing, but they knew what they were not. They were doubting themselves about. Yeah, something to do with the Seven of Cups. Some type of illusion or it could have been something to do with options. The, the full Aquarius energy judgment in reverse. Somebody just wasn't ready. Like, that's pretty much what you, you just knew. Somebody is very, like, naive, guys. Yeah, somebody's just not ready. They're very childlike. They have a lot of inner child healing to do. Maybe you weren't ready either. You have Scorpio energy here. So, yeah, tower in reverse. It's almost like a blessing. And, like, it's like a disaster averted. Scorpio energy again. Fear of change. Somebody has a fear of change. Someone's doubting themselves. The Hierophant, Taurus energy, the moon. Somebody has a fear of commitment. So what does that mean going forward here? The world? What is the world? So that's Libra energy. What does that mean for this connection? The two of wands. Somebody's putting an end to some type of indecision after a period of introspecting. Yeah, see. It's something to do with an illusion here. Somebody's going to see. Somebody couldn't see that being with you could lead to the Ten of Pentacles. I don't know why they couldn't see it. Could lead to victory, success, abundance. Um, yeah, we're like, I don't know if it was their pride, but it's like, again, the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius and Pisces energy. Things are going to be changing. Somebody's stepping out of some type of illusion here. I'm telling you. It's like you start pulling back, you retreat, you pull back your energy, you block this person. I don't know what you do. Then they're going to start realizing like, damn, like I could have, we could have been a power couple. We could have built a, you know, left a legacy. We could have been wealthy together. We could have built money. Like we could have really like, we, we could have had family. We could have had it all. Somebody's going to realize this. I'm going to get one more card. What's making them have this realization? I already have said a few things that could be the cause, but what's making them have this realization spirit? Strength. I feel like you, it's you. It's you finally stepping into your power. You having the courage and the strength here. The inner strength. Wow, guys, to, to end this. I'm telling you to, to move on, to let go. Yeah. To release this person, release them with love. You've waited long enough. You've put a lot of effort and energy into this, but it's not growing into anything. So it's now it's time to focus on you, right? And yeah, this was just becoming toxic to you. They weren't offering you what you deserved. It was very disappointing. There was no balance there, but and it was unfair. But I feel like you guys had the courage to release this. And then it's like all of a sudden this union comes in or this like stability, this harmony or a reunion or something comes in. Yeah, this was definitely something that you, it, it led to a lot of disappointment. It never got to what you really thought, what you wanted it to be. But I'm telling you, it's something about you guys finally having the courage to let this person go, to release this, to make peace with the situation, not cling to the situation anymore, um, moving on. That's making this person, that's what's going to trigger them to realize something, okay?